if you have problems with your pump not turning on when the power is first switched on, uh, which it should always do, the most likely issue would be in your non-return valve. Now the non-return valve is here in the nose of the pump. Uh, the thing you'll be able to see is there's a black uh, pin that comes out of the front. The first thing to check is whether it is moving freely. It is sprung but should jump back and forwards without any, any major effort. If that uh, is not getting your pump to turn on, what you'll need to do is replace the non-return valve. Now, to do that, the first thing you'll need to do is loosen this front part here and take it out. You need to check there is no debris or anything. This, is, this white area is completely clear. And in the same point, the white area here is completely clear. If there's any debris or anything like that, that may well be stopping the non-return valve doing what it should be. Now your new non-return valve looks like this. It has a spring to push it backwards and forwards, uh, an O-ring in which should be in place. And it's good to just check there's no damage uh, in, in any places. Obviously this one is good. You'll notice that at this point it comes down away from the body. And here we have a keyway for it to go into. So it fits in like this, so it goes up and down into that keyway. When you are replacing the uh, front part of the nose, the best way to do it is to place it on and then make sure the non return valve is pushed all the way home as you are tightening it around the finger. This stops it coming out of the keyway and being crushed when you uh, close it. When it's finger tight, it should move without any issue. And then all it needs is to be tightened up.